Good afternoon. Today I wanted to give you a preview of what you will see on your tablet as of this Thursday, July 21st. We are making a change to the driver app that will be seamless and make your lives a bit easier. We have created workflows that will ensure that logs are being certified daily and that pre and post trip DBIRs are being completed as well as carrier edits being reviewed. Omaha and Wichita have been using this for the past couple of weeks without issues, so let me know if you have any problems. Let's start by logging in for the day. So bring up your driver app, type in your username and password, and click sign in. As you can see, the first workflow is showing you to go on duty, so click on duty. It's now checking for uncertified logs. You will see that I have a carrier edit. It will check for carrier edits and uncertified logs. I have a carrier edit here. I will click certify and submit the edit. The next step will be to select the vehicle I will be driving that day. So today we'll select LT64, confirm. The very next step in the workflow is it automatically takes me into the DVIR screen. So you will do your pre-trip for the vehicle that day. Go through and inspect the vehicle. Okay, click done. Certify that it is safe to drive. Certify and submit. And you are now on your on duty screen. Now everything in this screen will work exactly like it did before. So nothing in this screen has changed. Just the log on and the log off process. As you can see at the bottom, it says there are no tasks to complete, which means the workflow is done. You will see that I'm connected to LT64 and if I were to start driving, it would automatically put me in driving. You still have access to your hours of service, your DVIR, all that stays exactly the same. Next, we will go over the logging off process. We will now go over the logging off process. Keep in mind this is very simple and very similar to going on duty. When you're done for the day, Go ahead and click off duty. It will show that you are currently selected to the vehicle that you drove that day. So you will click done. It will take you directly into the post trip DVIR. So click post trip and perform inspection. It's extremely important that you let your manager know immediately if you find something on your post trip so they can get it scheduled to be repaired hopefully not to delay you the next morning for deliveries. So once you do your post trip, you will then go down and say it is safe to drive and certify that that vehicle is safe to drive. The very last step of the workflow is to go off duty. Keep in mind that up to this point, you have been on duty, so until the workflow is complete, you will stay on duty. The last thing I would like to show you is with the workflows, it automatically disconnects you from the truck. So before, where you had to manually click leave on the vehicle, as you can see, I sign back in, I'm no longer connected to that vehicle. It automatically does that for you. This process should make things simple for you and it should be easier on you. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Thank you. The last process I want to show you is how to navigate the workflows if you are working in the warehouse one day or a passenger in the truck. The process is similar to logging on and off. So bring up your app, you will sign in.
Again, the first step is going to be to go on duty. It's going to check for uncertified logs or any carrier edits. As you can see, I have a carrier edit, so I will certify that log and submit it. Now, it will ask to connect to a vehicle, but you'll, you're not going to. You're in the warehouse or you're a passenger, so you just hit skip. And it brings you right to the screen and you're on duty. Same with the sign off process. So you're going to log out for the day. You're going to skip the vehicle and go off duty. It's that simple and you are done for the day. Thank you for your time and let me know if you have any questions.